Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be continuing on with the showcases and reviews of the placeable factories for the Ricciville map. Today we'll be checking out Dixie A Delight Pie Company. Pie! I love pie! So what I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this factory. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will set a few things up and I will show you just how this works. So let's take a look. Okay folks, here we go. This is Dixie A Delight Pie Company by Old Man 102 Don't forget you'll have to download the Global Company mod for all these factories to work. Link in the description below. Just download it and put it in your mods folder with your other mods. File size for this is 31.1 megabytes. Price in the shop to purchase is $85,000 with a $100 a day maintenance fee. Now you're going to input 10 different items guys. 250,000 liters of each item will fill this factory. You'll need pie plates, pie crusts, apples, cherries, pumpkins, peanuts, bananas, strawberries, coconuts, and whipped cream. Ten different inputs, so it'll take you a little bit to get this factory up and running. You can buy your products right from the inputs, I'll show you that. And you're going to output nine different products. You're going to get apple pie, cherry pie, pumpkin pie, peanut butter pie, banana cream pie, strawberry pie, coconut pie, coconut cream pie I should say, and then you're going to get recycle items and you're going to get silage. So nine different products you'll get from that. This factory will hold 750,000 liters of your finished product except your recycles which it'll hold 10,000 liters before you'll have to uh, empty it. The productivity of this factory is 4,000 liters an hour and this also gives you an income of $1,000 per in-game hour. Yeah, anything with a windmill or a solar panel, you probably get an hourly income from that. So keep that in mind, guys. Now, let's go down and take a little look. Now, this is a big old factory here, guys. You'll need some room to put this down. First, we'll go over the shop. Under placeables, all these will be located under global company right there in the middle. There's all the different ones that you have laid down so far. Just look for Dixie A Delight Pie Company. There's all the different products down there on the bottom. Oh, actually right here, look at all that pie, yum yum. Okay, we'll double click on that and you can see uh, you need a big old spot to put that, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, let's come on down and we'll take a little look around at it here. If you're unfamiliar with the Global Company mods, when you put these factories down and you come close to them, you're going to notice that you get a menu screen that opens there on the right hand side. It's going to tell you everything that's in this factory, inputs, outputs, and how much of each product. So there's Dixie's logo. He, old man got it right on this company. Very nice. I really like that. We'll take a walk around the outside here before we look inside. All lights up of night, at night, of course. Dixie's logo again. So yeah, this is a big old factory. You can drive right through here. There's all your electricity provided from your wind turbines. You have some of your drop-offs right here for your strawberries, bananas, pie dough and pie plates and you can drive on right inside here drop off your apples cherries pumpkin and peanuts all your bulk items let's get up here a little higher because I know you can get silage out of this and recycle items so yeah there's more product on this side oh look at that that looks so good Okay, there's your unloading area. That's where your spawn product's going to appear when you're ready for picking up. Actually, that might be your recycle items. Yes, that's your recycle zone there. That's where you're going to grab your recycle pallets. Drop off your whipped cream right on over here. There's your silage pickup, guys. And your uh, drop off of your coconut. There is your spawning point for all your finished pies and all your good stuff. So very nice. You did a fantastic job with this. It looks great and runs just perfectly. Now, let's get a little air here and as you can see I have all 10 of my products all lined up there beautifully ready to be dropped off to get this factory up and running so what do we have down below we got some peanuts we have uh, 250,000 liters of each peanuts pumpkins cherries apples we have our pie plates we have our uh, pie crust now you can't have Dixie pies without the best pie crust around at uh, Nick's house of dough <laughs> There we got some bananas, we have some strawberries, we have some coconuts, and we have some whipped cream. So all together we got 10 different items there. So let's start with our bulk. And we'll get some pumpkins and uh, peanuts dropped off. So let's go find our inputs for that. It might be right on inside. Okay, we got peanuts, so... 
Uh oh. Oh, we'll get a big old lag spike there. Okay, are we able to dump there? Yes, sir. Let's get some peanuts in there. 250,000 liters worth. Well, that's exactly how much you'll need to fit, fill all these bins. That's to max it out now. When she's in green, she's all filled up. Yellow means it's in production, and red means it's empty. So let's switch bins here with the U key. And hopefully that is pumpkins. Yes, it is. Okay, let's drop them off. Pumpkins it is. 250,000 liters worth. And we got apples and cherries inside. So all inside is your bulk items. And all your palletized products going to be on the outside. So that is it for that. Let's get this guy pulled out. And we'll go grab another tipper. Okay, guys, here we go with our apples and cherries. Oh, look at that. Maybe we can fit both bins over each trigger. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's see if we can. That'd be so awesome. Okay, i got to pull ahead a little bit more. There we go. Oh, look at that. That might just work out. Yeah. There goes our cherries. We'll just have to... Let that empty out and hit the uh, U key. That's perfect. Yeah, if you put them in order, you can drop off the two of them. You only have to move your, your vehicle. Look at that. Beautiful. 250,000 liters of each. That'll take care of all the items inside. Okay, guys. Let's go work on our palletized product. Okay, whipped cream. It's making me hungry just filling this company up. Okay, yeah, you can't have coconut without the cream. No siree. Okay, let's see what we got here. Pie plates, pie dough, bananas, strawberry. That's not us. I do believe this is on the outside over here. Oh, no, that's a drop off for that. We'll find it right on over here there's our digital displays guys with all our amounts in there it didn't show up yet because it takes time for that to get in there there's a coconut silage whipped cream right here guys so if you're new to the channel I did review this truck it's great for using for these pallets because you can double stack them 8x2 let's hit the U key again guys so we can actually we don't even have to do that because we can just nudge them in there I'm hoping anyway. In there you go. Okay. That's probably not enough to... No, 16. That can hold, uh, like I said, 25,000 liters. So We're fine. We'll just go ahead and pick up our next product here. over here coconut drop off oh beautiful there you key let's come in here nice and even so we don't accidentally snag onto those bananas give me that Strawberries. Right at the end down here. Oh, so close. Beautiful. Let's hit our auto load again. Grab us some bananas. Oh, so close. 
If you hit that trigger right, like I did with the coconuts, you can get them all in there. But if worse comes to worse, you've got to give them a little nudge. It's easier than re-picking them up because you have to turn your auto load off and then on again and drive away. But we're getting there, guys. Ten inputs and nine outputs. This is a big old factory. But when you get your finished product, it's definitely going to pay off. Okay, auto load. Let's get our Nix pie crust in there. Come on, floating pallet. There we go. Was that on the side? I can't remember. I think everything's probably here. Uh, pie plates, pie dough. There we go. Oh, that was terrible. Sometimes when you're driving, like you're just driving a little bit as you drop it, it'll take there too, because the ones left behind will kind of push into it. There we go, folks. Let's get our pie plates in there. And that'll do it. Let the pie production begin. All I need is a fork. Big glass of milk. Look at that. That's terrible. Auto load off. I might have to end up picking them up again. Look at that. That's terrible. Hopefully I won't crumple up your pie plates. Dixie will not be happy with that. Okay. We have all our ingredients, folks, looks like. So let's bring this guy right on around the building. We'll get him parked, and we'll go ahead and fast forward time. So let's go find our board over here. We'll see all our increments. Maybe let, watch when I jack up time here. You'll see them all pop into play. There we go. Production is underway, folks. Going to really jack up time here. Let's see our look. Our recycled items is almost full already. Unbelievable. Okay, we're going to slow down time here so we can get a little look at this company at night. Oh, look at that banana cream pie. Yummy. I love it. This thing's awesome. So don't forget you get your silage right there, guys. Got nice dig digital displays all around the building. It's well lit. Yeah, this looks great, all lit up at night. But don't forget, like a lot of those palletized products, we didn't put very much in there. You're gonna need a quite a few stacks to uh, equal 250,000. What is it? Each pallet is a thousand, so you'll need you know 250 of them if you want to completely fill it. So that's quite a bit. So let's go ahead and we'll fast forward time. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down here because I want to show the people that are unfamiliar with the global company how this works now you can activate your global company menu anywhere on the map as long as you're not in a vehicle go ahead and press left control and G now it'll list all the factories you have laid down on your map on the uh, left hand side just go ahead and find Dixie's power company then you're gonna wanna go to open overview over on the right hand side and there's all your products there if you come all the way to the bottom there's your production so that'll tell you all your increments there. So what you want to do if you don't have uh, the resources to get this up and running, you can go right over to Apple Pie, go to each one, and under inputs, click on each one. And you'll notice down here on the right hand side, you can uh, maximize that, like fill the company right up with that product. You can add one pallet at a time with the E button, and then this buys them. Now it's going to cost you money, of course. You can click on these, or you can press the uh, corresponding key. So we'll maximize that. It's going to cost $425,000. That is not cheap. That's almost a half a million dollars. So, I mean, that's the filler, right? That's going to do you a long time. So go ahead and we'll fill that up. Same thing here. Maximize it. Or you can just put in one pallet at a time. Just depends what you want. We're all good on the, uh, on the rest of those items. As far as this, I usually go through them all like that and... Because it's not, 
each product over here on the left hand side is not going to have all the ingredients so you got to kind of go through them all to make sure you have everything because bananas aren't going to show up under any of these except for banana banana cream pie right of course um, strawberry pie Let's see where are strawberries ooh three hundred eight thousand okay Better coconuts, maximize that. We'll just fill this factory right up. So it's not cheap doing this, but you can get your factories up and running. The best way to fill it, guys, really, is just come down here to production. Then all your inputs will be everything this company needs. So that's probably a better way to do it. As you can see, we already have 6,570 liters of silage. Our recycle bin is almost filled. Now there's a flatbed over on the... Uh, Trello site it, it might work with the recycle site it's kind of a work in progress guys that uh, auto load flatbed over there so it might work I'm not a hundred percent but you can try it but if you can't don't forget you could pick up your recycle pallets by hand and throw them into the back of a truck and deal with it that way so just keep that in mind so what we're gonna want to do is hit left control and G to open up our menu here we're gonna go find Dixie's house of pies open overview so whatever product we want to uh, spawn out here, you're just going to click on that. We're going to grab all our apple pies. Let's see how many pallets. We got 10 pallets there. Dixie's House of Pies. Open overview all the way to the bottom. You'll find your recycle items right there. Let's go ahead and maximize that. We're going to spawn 20 pallets because these pallets are really, really tiny. You'll see them here in a second. But oh, look at that. Dixie's logos on the side of all these. Very nice. Look at that pie, guys. Yeah, too bad it didn't look like that on your plate, eh? <laughs> Usually when you have it, it's all, yeah, half of that apple would be on the side of the plate. So yeah, don't forget, each pallet is 1,000 liters. Okay, let's grab our apple pie. We'll hit our auto load here. Yeah, we'll grab the rest of them. What I'm going to do is spawn eight pallets of each. That way I can get one row of each product. So I'll just get six of the next. Let's uh, cherry pie. Sounds good. So we're just going to spawn six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and spawn them. Let's go over and look at this. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite kind of pie, guys. Cherry pie is my favorite. With uh, a close second being apple pie. I like any pie. <laughs> but I have preferences but I like meat pies too it's nothing like a nice uh, chicken pot pie so there is two of our finished items here guys so we'll go ahead and get the other seven as soon as we drop these off here hopefully they don't fall over because that would be a big old mess of pies drop that right there see productions underway when you see the beacons all lit up it's a good way to tell and uh, is there smoke? Yeah, there's smoke coming out of this, some of the stacks on these companies, you can also tell. So there is our eight pies. Let's come down and take a look at the old pumpkin pie. That's something I'm not too big on is pumpkin pie, but I have to say that looks pretty good as far as pumpkin pie goes. So we'll get some peanut butter pie. That sounds strange to me, but I bet you it's delicious. But I never had peanut butter pie before. Uh, let's grab eight pallets of that also. Spawn it. Grab it. I bet it's delicious though. It looks good. Look at this, guys. Tell me that wouldn't be delicious. You know, we don't have anything like that around here. Never heard of peanut butter pie, ever. But it's I like peanut butter, so we get along pretty good. drop that don't pop all over pie okay that's four of our pies like I said if the auto load doesn't work when you drive up to it sometimes you have to drive away from it and come back so let's come on down get a look at our banana cream pie oh that looks so good okay banana cream oh that looks so good yeah cheesecake But it makes it fun the more it needs because it pays off, guys. Trust me, when you sell these. 
I never reviewed the uh, sell points yet, so I'm just going to bypass that for now. But they pay they pay a pretty penny. Production's well underway. Okay, let's come on down and look at our coconut cream pie. Oh, that looks so good. I keep saying that, but yeah. The only one, my least favorite, is probably the uh, pumpkin pie. I'm not big on pumpkin pie, but in a crunch, I might eat it. Okay, guys, let's drop these pies. Oh, oh, don't fall, pie! Oh, gravity. Okay, there's our silage, guys. So while that's filling up, I'll go over here and show you the recycle items. There we go. So yeah, you can grab them and throw them in the back of a pickup if worse comes to worst. Like so. Okay. Look at that. All them pies. Very nice. And some silage to boot. So there you have it, guys. That was Dixie A Delight Pie Company by Old Man 102. Additional information and links are down below in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care and I will see you all in the next one.